Welcome back to Mason Talks. So the Cleveland Browns were able to make several solid additions to their roster through the 2021 NFL Draft. The Browns were able to bolster the depth of their roster on both sides of the football. Defensively, the Browns went out and added Greg Newsom, cornerback from Northwestern, as well as Jeremiah owusu koromora linebacker from Notre Dame. And then even when you look offensively, the Browns went out and selected James Hudson, offensive tackle from Cincinnati. And while offensive tackle may not appear to be a big need right now, it is always smart to reinvest in your offensive line. A lot of pretty interesting players were added over the past few days for the Cleveland Browns. But there is one name that I continue to return to, and there is one player who I really think has a extremely high ceiling for the Cleveland Browns, and that player is Anthony Schwartz, wide receiver from Auburn. Now, Schwartz went in the third round for good reasons. He isn't necessarily the most polished wide receiver in this draft class, but there are a couple of traits that I look at and a couple of situational aspects surrounding the Cleveland Browns that lead me to believe that Anthony Schwartz could develop into a superstar wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns. Not just a good player, good starter. I believe Anthony Schwartz can be a superstar for the Cleveland Browns. Now, let me explain why. Again, as I noted a moment ago, Anthony Schwartz went in the third round. There is a good reason as to why, and it's because he doesn't necessarily have all of the skills that you would look for in an NFL wide receiver. Now, when you look at Schwartz, he has decent size. He stands at six feet tall, but he's definitely not a DK Metcalf or Calvin Johnson who's going to just physically, you know, impose you every single play. And he's not a good route runner, and he's not good at catching the football. Well, okay, every receiver is good at catching the football, but he's not elite at catching the football. So when you look at Anthony Schwartz from kind of a sky high view, you're like, well, why did the Browns take him? And why do you think he can be a superstar? And the first reason why is because of that one trait that everybody is aware of. And that is Anthony Schwartz speed. Coming into the National Football League in 2021, Anthony Schwartz is going to be one of the fastest football players on the planet. At his Auburn Pro Day, Schwartz ran a 4-2-5-40. That is wildly impressive, especially for a third-round pick wide receiver. There's no doubt in my mind that when Andrew Barry saw Anthony Schwartz on the board with that third round selection, the first word that popped into his mind was speed. Speed is one of the best traits that you can have and one of the most important traits that you can have as a wide receiver. I mean, speed is always good to have. When you have fast players in your wide receiver core, they're really able to kind of extend the field for the rest of your team. They're able to take the top off of the defense. They're able to kind of open things up for more of the, you know, under under threats like, you know, your tight ends or for the Browns, maybe a guy like Rashard Hollywood Higgins, you know, they're able to kind of open up the field. And then, of course, always when you have that speed, there's the potential for you to break away on a massive touchdown reception, especially when you have one of the best deep ball throwers in the National Football League in Baker Mayfield. Anthony Schwartz's speed is his best trait, and it's his most valuable trait, and it's the reason why he was drafted at that position. Now, that speed in and of itself does not deny the fact that he's really a raw prospect and there's a lot of work for him to do to improve his game. But again, I think the Cleveland Browns are one of the best positions in the world for him to kind of make those improvements. And the main reason why is because coming into the league this year, Anthony Schwartz is not going to have to get big time snap numbers for the Cleveland Browns. In fact, 
I don't expect him to take a ton of snaps at wide receiver at all. I mean, the Browns wide receiver core right now is pretty firmly set with Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, Rashard Higgins, and Donovan Peoples-Jones. Those are going to be the Cleveland Browns main receivers and the main targets for Baker Mayfield. Anthony Schwartz is not going to be playing a big role as a wide receiver. He is going to have time to develop. He is going to have time to work on his precision route running. He is going to have time to work on his catching, become you know a very reliable catcher. He's going to have great mentors in guys like Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry and Rashard Higgins, who is absolutely you know scrapped and fought for everything that he's earned at the National Football League level. He's going to have time and he's going to have mentorship that can lead him to be a good wide receiver, a good fundamental wide receiver at the National Football League level. And then the third thing, the third reason why I believe that Anthony Schwartz can be a star for the Cleveland Browns is because of how he's going to fit overall in the offense of Kevin Stefanski. Now, the Browns offensive staff is one of the smartest offensive staffs in the National Football League. Kevin Stefanski, of course, is a very good play caller. And I also want to throw some credit to Alex Van Pelt, who also is a massive contributor to the Cleveland Browns offense. In 2021, while he may not play a big role as a receiver, I 100% believe that Kevin Stefanski will find a role for Anthony Schwartz to play in and to thrive in, whether that be through, you know, uh, it, it, the run game it, as a potential, say, you know, revert, you know, if you want to, if you want to bring him for a reverse play handoff in the backfield, have him just kind of use his speed. We saw him do that at Auburn at times. So, you know, that he's capable of that. I would also say that he's a type of player who would be good in wide receiver screen situations. Just get him the ball, get him some blocking and let him use that speed and put it to work. I firmly believe that Kevin Stefanski will find a role for Anthony Schwartz to thrive in. And I think one of those potential roles could be on special teams. I think he could be a good punt returner. I think he could be a good kick returner. And again, that trait of speed is going to set him apart from the rest of the competition. He is going to be the the fastest player on the Cleveland Browns roster. I think it's a really interesting situation because you know that he's got a very high ceiling because of that speed. You know he's got a very smart offensive coach in Kevin Stefanski. And you know he's got time. You know that he has time to develop into that role. And he's got a good quarterback in Baker Mayfield. That always helps. When I look at Anthony Schwartz, I see a player who right now is basically raw speed, who can turn into one of the top wide receivers in the National Football League. I firmly believe that Anthony Schwartz could be a superstar for the Cleveland Browns. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of Anthony Schwartz? What do you think his ceiling is? Do you think he can be a star in the NFL? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.